your local weather authority with meteorologist Julie Hendricks. Well, good morning. It's been an active overnight for the Wabash Valley. Some of you may be up this morning earlier than you expected from the sounds of thunder outside your window and some heavy downpours too. We've also had embedded small hail reported with several of these areas of rain and thunderstorms that have pressed through in the overnight hours. This is a live look right now. Our Dorset Automotive Doppler radar showing some of those heavier cells down to the south of us. Still raining across the heart of the valley and off to the north, but you're hearing less of those rumbles of thunder. There's less lightning currently in those areas off to the north. We're going to take you down to the south right now for two reasons, because that's where most of our active weather is. And this is our southern counties here. So again, here's the only area over toward Lawrenceville right now. Those counties down to the south, there is a tornado warning that has been issued. Again, this is not in our immediate area, but is just to our south right now. There has been a large hail reported coming out of this energy that is located down to the south of West Salem right now. So we'll keep a close eye on all of that because once again, you can see our area kind of under the bullseye with multiple alerts currently, including that tornado warning down to the south of us. We do have a tornado watch that includes our southern counties and off to the north. That's a wind advisory that will go in effect this afternoon. The severe risk today is going to be the further south and east you go. So once we get through this morning, we're going to turn our attention to the afternoon when that cold front event gets here and gets through for areas further off to across southeastern sections of Indiana and over around the Cincinnati area. There is a risk of tornadoes today and it is a decent risk. So we're going to be watching what happens through the course of the day across those regions. As for here, winds are variable right now, but they're going to be picking up speed. As I said, that wind advisory goes into effect later today and through the afternoon because we're going to see that wind shifting to the west, picking up speed with winds sustained at 25 to 30 miles per hour. That's why the wind advisory is coming out. Those winds will be shifting to the northwest and tomorrow morning, get ready to grab your coat. You're going to need it again for the rest of the week. Each morning, we're going to keep that northerly flow coming in. And not only is it going to be colder, we may actually see some snow before the week is over. That wind advisory, as we said, includes several counties out there. This goes in effect this afternoon and through tonight when those winds pick up speed and a flood watch also includes a large part of the area as Dave David and Jen were mentioning a little bit ago some ponding on roadways, some downed limbs, things of that nature this morning before the sun comes up could create issues on roads. So just take your time this morning. We are going to show future cast keeps those areas of rain with us this morning. As we get into the afternoon hours, once again, we are going to track this energy. So we'll push it through and take a little break through midday, but we're not done with storm chances because that cold front's going to work its way through. And it looks like the majority Majority of action will probably be across our eastern areas, but we can't rule out some areas of thunderstorms this afternoon. In the overnight hours, we'll start to dry things out a little bit, but once again, we see showers wrapping back around one more time as we head into the day tomorrow and into the day on Thursday. It might actually be some snow mixing in. Today's temperature, 70 degrees, but those thunderstorms are going to be with us, and you're going to notice the winds and the potential for heavy rain. Once again, as we go through the day, we have to keep an eye on the afternoon hours after this morning round of activity. Now, tonight, it'll be cloudy. That's tomorrow's temperature. We're at 60. We're going to be at 38 tomorrow morning, and we may end up with a little rain snow mix out there. We cannot rule that out as we go into the day Thursday as well in the early morning hours because our temperatures will be at 35 degrees as we go through the day Thursday, not getting out of the 40s, back in the 50s by Friday with cloudy skies. The silver lining to this forecast is we got a lot going on in the Wabash Valley this weekend. And as you just saw, it's going to be dry, cool, but dry. So that's good news. And then, of course, we'll be uber focused on Monday's weather because of the eclipse. So. Oh, yeah. All yeah, right. A lot of travelers uh, probably today to Indianapolis as well. True, so if you're yeah. going out for the NIT game, definitely drive safe out there. It will be warmer when you go into the game than it will when you leave the game. So okay. you have been warned. <laughs> Make sure you're dressed appropriately. Right. Yes. Well, still